Governor Sarah Palin is a hot topic for many women. The question, can a mother of five, including an infant with Down syndrome, be an effective vice president? We're joined by Washington Post columnist Sally Quinn, who's in Washington this morning. And here with me, I have Congresswoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers from Washington State and Sarah Huckabee, who worked on the presidential campaign of her father, Mike Huckabee. Good morning to the three of you. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Let me start with the ladies I have here and pose a question that Rudy Giuliani posed to me this morning. Is it fair to even have this discussion about whether a woman can juggle five kids and be vice president? What do you think, Sarah? I think uh, it's a disgrace that the question's even being asked. Um, I think as not only as a woman, but as somebody who's grown up in politics, I think that uh, Sarah Palin, Governor Palin, has proven herself time and again uh, that she has the capacity to lead. And I want to know why no one's asking, you know, Barack Obama's got two kids. Nobody's asking him, is he a good parent because he's running for president? That question hasn't come up. And simply because of the fact that she's a woman, I think that, uh, you know, the media should take the step that the rest of America has on both sides of the political aisle. We've seen Republicans and Democrats unite behind two fantastic women of, over this political season. And I think it's time that the media stops asking the question and follow the rest of America's lead and get behind the rest of the country and moving right. moving forward and seeing that women are capable to lead this country. She has five children. One has Down syndrome. You have a child with Down syndrome, right, yes. Congresswoman? Yes. That special needs requires more attention. Does that factor into this at all? She's, she's proven that it can be done. She's currently the governor of a very important state in this country. And at a time that we've been celebrating the fact that we have more women serving in Congress than ever, we have the first woman speaker of the House, we had Senator Clinton running for president. Um, I am excited about the candidacy of Sarah Palin for vice president. And I think um, she brings a valuable perspective as a wife, as a mother of five, as someone that does have a special needs child. I'm excited to think that she could be in this position and really be a champion for millions of women and families across this country that face the, the everyday challenges of trying to balance work and, and be a mom and, and provide for a family. Sally, do you agree with these ladies? Well, you know, I think the whole issue of whether work, working mothers um, is a good idea is so long past for all of us and uh, everybody I know is a working mother. I've been a working mother for 26 years. That's not the issue. But I do think that every single woman knows in her heart, a mother, that mothers and fathers are different and mothers' roles and fathers' roles are different. And I, and it's interesting that here I am supposedly part of, of you know, the what one would call the liberal elite media. That, that's what we've been, all the critics of Sarah Palin have been called. And, and yet uh, uh, taking the position that a woman with five children, including one with special needs and a daughter who is a 17-year-old child who is pregnant and about to have a baby, probably has got to rethink her priorities. It seems to me that um, there is a tipping point, and at the, I think that she's crossed the tipping point. I believe that it's going to be very difficult for her. And let me say that she is not unlikely, it is not unlikely that she could be President of the United States with these, in effect, six children to deal with, one with special needs. I have a learning disabled child, one son, and that's taken an enormous amount of time and effort on my part. My husband was editor of the Washington Post. I had to leave my job because he was in and out of the hospital. I worked uh, part time. But um, I know the pressures and I, and I know the problems that just caring for one special needs child takes out of you. And it seems to me Sally, that let me for someone who's president of the United States, which she could well be, that there are going to be enormous conflicts, which we all have conflicts and guilt. But I think I this, is, this is too much. I'm sorry, I have 30 seconds and I just want to get the opinion of these ladies on what you just said, that it's not fair to compare a mother's role and a father's role. Had your mom been the governor instead of your dad, would it have been the same? Um, I mean, obviously, I think uh, the way she may have uh, governed would have been slightly different, uh, but I think that goes But could more she have still been a full-time mom to you and a governor, a Absol vice president? Absolutely. I don't think that the, the job of raising children is left to one parent over another. I think it's a an equal responsibility, and I think that both parents need to play an active role. And uh, I never felt like my dad was any less of a parent because he was a governor. If anything, I felt like he was a better parent and uh, more 
more involved because he was a governor, because he was doing more for my future and uh, more for my every day than just, uh, you know, making sure I was in bed on time every night. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. We have to leave it there. We could talk forever on this, I have a feeling. Thank you so much for your time.